What's up, guys? Brett here. We're going to be going over the weekly stock picks for this week. Uh, last week, we absolutely crushed it. Best one off of last week's watch list was Airbnb, uh, soared over 12%, uh, backed off by strong earnings. Now, this week, we are looking at quite a few names. Uh, we'll go over the indices in a sec, but to start it off, Activision, Snap, and WDC, Western Digital. Um, our long-term play of the week, guys, will be Moderna. Now, let's just dive right into it as always. ES, guys, hitting this upper trend line, okay? This is where we've rejected countless times um, pretty much throughout the entire year and um, end of last year. Uh, we actually wicked it on Friday, and we might, you know, see a little bit of a pullback, um, you know, a couple percent or so uh, this week. So we still are bullish. Uh, there was an infrastructure bill passed this weekend, so that should send us higher, but, you know, we have to be careful here. Uh, looking at NQ, it's going to be the same thing, right? We hit, we are hitting the top of this channel. As you guys can see, we've been in this channel since um, September 2020. Um, we did hit the top of it just this past week, so we just need to be cautious. Um, as always, you know, a very overextended market for tech, but um, you know these names will continue to run. So let's dive right into the picks. Daily chart first is going to be Activision. They got absolutely destroyed on earnings, um, dropped about 14%. Um, they didn't have that good of an outlook um, going into next year. However, you know, a 14, 15% retracement on the company like Activision is, you know, a decent pullback. So this is something that we'd look to buy up uh, into the holidays. Usually these stocks do tend to run up into the end of the year, as you can see um, here, right? Uh, usually there is a dip around earnings, which there was last year as well, excuse me, two years ago as well, right? And last year as well and then they usually run into December. So that's why we are looking to add this name um, this week for possible swings and day trades this week. So look for a bounce off of this um, 60, 68 level or so, um, a close above 68.50 to send us higher, okay? Next, we got Snapchat. Same type of scenario, guys. Um, earnings were shit, uh, but has a rounding bottom here, right? So, you know, previous, previous support, excuse me, here from um, end of 2020, beginning of 2021. So should see a bounce back to at least this 20 EMA on the daily for um, about $60 per share. So should be about $7 move or so on Snapchat for a nice gain. And lastly, we have WDC. They didn't do good on earnings either. <laughs> so all three of these names kind of the same, but um, this is a chip company, right? Uh, AMD and Nvidia were extremely hot last week. So we expect a pop, a pop again above the 20 EMA here and then above this uh, trend line holding it down. So wait for a clear confirmation for this play. This probably is gonna be one of the riskier ones out of the three. Lastly is Moderna. They took a huge hit, obviously, with the uh, allegations um, being posed uh, against them, as well as a poor earnings, as well as Pfizer coming out with their drug, right? So, um, you know, a lot of catalysts behind this name, but it is a good pullback here. Um, I actually entered this around 226 on Friday. Uh, literally entered right off the um, bounce of this level here if you look at the smaller time frames but still a good buy we think right around here right around the 200 day anywhere in this range you know 225 to 235 even up to 240 um, for a move back to 330 plus okay guys uh, but again stay cautious this week we are very overextended as usual and um, trade safe guys we'll uh, we'll talk to you next week